on? Welcome to another edition of Matador Express. I'm Quinn Marquez, a sports writer here at the Daily Toreador. And I'm Brandon Solis, and I'm also a sports writer for the Daily Toreador. We're here to bring you a weekly tech sports. What happened last week? What's happening next week? What's happening right now with our award? It's going to stay right here in the middle. But about tech sports, we've had a lot of ups and downs this week. Uh, main, mainly downs. Well, mainly, mainly downs. downs. Well, the, the high point of it was my, what I cover soccer, yeah. and they had tied against the uh, OU. So, I mean, it's a little up and then a lot of downs yeah. for this week. But, hey, we have a whole new week to get started again. Maybe get a little more ups. Yeah. Then downs. Yeah. We'll start by looking at uh, volleyball is coming off a loss to Baylor in uh, three straight sets. It's their two game losing streak, and they really haven't been producing ever since their big win over Oklahoma. You know what? That was uh, memorable. I remember them playing OU, and it was grand. It was like it was yesterday. It was just like it was just yesterday that we were beating OU, and we were on a rise. And then, you know what? <sighs> Baylor just had to give it to us, so. Uh, I'll hand it to the ba Baylor Bears. Whatever. Yeah. It's whatever. That's 3-0. You know what? We have another chance to uh, to redeem ourselves because we're playing the Kansas Jayhawks on the seventh. So Wednesday, Wednesday night, six o'clock. Jayhawks, Tech. Ba I hate Jayhawks. Me too. I, it's I, not basketball, so you know. It's yeah. Like, if it's not basketball, <laughs> I mean, we're not scared of Jayhawks. We're scared. Whatever. We're not even scared we're of not, them basketball. Yeah, we're not. We're not scared of them. But we're really not scared of volleyball. So, hey. You know what we're especially not scared of them, though? What's that? That's in soccer and how they've been doing. You know what? Soccer team has been doing real good. They've been doing real good. They tied with the uh, uh, OSU. <laughs> Sorry. They tied with the OSU 2-2 two two in the second overtime, heading into conference play. So, that was our first conference game. Mm -hmm. Next game is against TCU Friday, and then they have West Virginia on Saturday. Both games at the John Walker Soccer Complex. So, Brandon, I hear you're known as a football guy here at the uh, DT. Yeah. Last weekend, and uh, how are we looking at that loss in Arlington against Baylor? Tell me about it. Well, I mean, if anybody ever saw highlights of that game, you saw that, uh, you know, we're, we're slacking a little bit on that. There's a lot of Baylor side. highlights in Tech. Yeah, highlights. yeah, it really was. I mean, some players did step it up, like always, you know, <laughs> Tech always. We always step up, you know. But, I mean, I thought we'd just come out a little more powerful after that loss to TCU within 23 seconds of the game. And we yeah, go hey, we almost beat TCU. We, we almost, almost beat TCU. Them. You know, I mean, that powerhouse right there in top five, both top five teams. But TCU is still ranked ahead of Baylor. What is that? How does that even happen? We almost beat TCU, and they get ranked to what, number two? Number two. And then we get blown out by Baylor. Like, they gave it to us pretty good. It wasn't good. a 23-second win by Baylor. They won it probably in the second, third, fourth, and, you know, they just won the game. I'm just they won saying. The game. They won the game. They, they won convincingly it. won the game, and they get ranked at what? They get ranked one behind TCU at three. They so how is TCU two, but. Baylor number three, and Baylor killed us, like, way worse than TCU did? I don't know what these what? rankings are about, but you're not doing it right. You don't need an award like this. No, no. You'll never get an award like this because you can't do any rankings right. I'm just saying. I think what happened to Tech this last week, though, it was in Arlington. They're playing Baylor, uh, who at the time I think was number five going yeah, into yeah. the game. And, uh, I mean, the spotlight's going to be bright. I mean, Jerry Jones is probably watching. Mahomes, was, place, Mahomes yeah. wasn't injured, but he was... He wasn't 100%. He wasn't 100%. I mean, let's give it to Baylor. They won, but whatever. Let's move on to the next game. Which who, is? Who are they playing? The the Cyclones, I believe, but their mascots, the Cardinal? Yeah, you know what? It's Iowa State, and who does that? If your emblem is a Cardinal, and then you come out saying, oh, we're the Cyclones, who does that? Cyclones, Cardinals have nothing to do with each other. I don't even know what a Cyclone it's is. It's not even confusing. Like, I can understand, like, if you're a Star Wars fan, you see Master Chief and think it's a Stormtrooper. It's not It's not even comparable. Come on. Come on, It's a man. bird and it wants a, something to do with What is a Cyclone anyways? Is it a tornado? Is it a hurricane? Is, it a, what is, is it, it a drink at Dairy Queen? Is I don't know. I think it's a car. I know it's, it's not a bird. A I know it's not a car <laughs> on a football helmet. I know that much. When's that game taking place? Uh, it's gonna happen uh, Saturday at 2:30 at Jones AT&T Stadium, and the Cyclones are actually coming off a win against uh, Kansas. You know those Jayhawks. Like I said, we're not scared of Kansas. They they're not good at anything but basketball. So we're not gonna give uh, that win to them. We'll just say they lost. Yeah, yeah. Who gives a good crap? Who gives a crap? You know, Iowa State is uh, in our conference, though, right? Yes, they are. They're so that's our next conference, conference game. Cliff's uh, looking to you know make. Make improvements to get on conference. Play. Make, you know, he's that not, defense played really good against TCU. They did. Even though they lost that game, I think they stepped up a lot more. They did. I'm not gonna they talk about the Baylor did. game because I like 
So we had a bye week. It was a bye week that week. So we'll just say that was a <laughs> it wash. It just happened to come with a loss. It was a wash with a loss. So <laughs> that's what we'll take about that. Uh, Iowa State, be ready to play because Tech is ready to go for conference play. Also, it is homecoming for, oh, yes. for the Red Raiders. The time has come, ladies and gentlemen. Basketball is upon us. Basketball is upon us! Candy Whitaker, Toby Smith. Man, all those guys. Rally. I cannot wait for this. The uh, basketball team is having their Spirit Pep Rally October 9th at 6.30 at the United Spirits Arena. I can't wait, man. I love basketball. Let's get it on, Let's dude. Get hype. Three Let's point line. Hype for basketball. Three point shots. A layup. Get hype for Red Raider basketball. Get hype. Put your guns up. Hashtag get everything. Let's go. Hashtag three pointer. Hashtag Red Raiders. Hashtag awesomeness. Hashtag candy. Wait, what? Yeah, Candy's the coach. Oh, okay, cool. I was like, they're not, it's not a parade. They're not going to throw candy. <laughs> they will, there will be candy at the parade. There will be candy at the parade? Which is homecoming, you know? It's homecoming. What? At the parade. I'm getting some candy Take at the parade. Take your kids. Red, Raider Red will be there. My yeah. boy, Raider Red. All right, so that's all we got for this week in uh, Tech Sports. Yeah. Please do tune in next week when we talk about either wins or losses that we have this weekend. We want to look up for those ups. Yeah, Let's we're trying to get some wins. Let's get some wins, Tech Sports. Let's do this. Do but until we see y'all. I guess we'll just see y'all.